Audi S5 Cabriolet long-term review. It has taken a while, but I've finally got to grips with the configurable driving controls essential to full enjoyment of any Audi S5, and especially the Cabrio, which is unusually satisfying at both extremes of its performance. Often in the Cabrio, in the same half day, you'll first need to cruise a motorway, top up to cut wind rush and other people's tire noise while the engine pulls fuel saving low revs in eighth gear. If you're lucky, your journey will take you to a place where you can glide quietly along country roads with the top down, enjoying rural sights, smells and vistas before maybe finishing the day with a sprint on favorite roads, for which you need full access to the 3.0-liter turbo V6's 349bhp, via a transmission now configured so that it both sharpens throttle responses and isn't nearly as keen on finding 8th gear for delivering maximum economy. The transmission part is easy, pull the lever backwards and you'll get sport, which will either let you change manually on the shift paddles or give you an auto regime that ensures that the engine is nearly always operating between maximum torque and maximum power, with the smooth bark from the S5's impressively purposeful quad exhausts curling up to your ears across the car's rear deck. But it's how you use the drive select control awkwardly located a stretch away on a little panel just above the center console, that makes an even bigger difference. Press it, and you'll be offered a chance to select comfort, auto or dynamic settings for the engine and gearbox, the suspension, magnetic shocks, the electric power steering, the rear diff, which tames wheel spin and dispenses torque vectoring, and the engine sound. You'll soon tire of changing these settings all the time especially since the switch stays live for only 4 seconds, which is too short a time if, like me, you are not especially dexterous. The solution is to decide your own settings for these 5 functions and then freeze them under the individual selection. If you care about such minutia, and you will once you get to know the car, it takes time to reach an ideal. Mine is engine set to dynamic, suspension to auto which assesses road surface action and makes its own decision, steering to dynamic, diff to auto and engine sound to dynamic.